shells all over the place. Yeah. My 52 shell pickup. Yeah. Your name? Yeah. <laughs> Good place to start. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. <laughs> Let's get into this video. I'm dropping shells all over the place because we're back out here, Shotgun Sunday, with the G Force GFP3N or the Pumpernickel. We're back out with the Pumpernickel, continuing our testing, trying to get to 500 to see if we can actually break this. This time, we're going to do buckshot. We got some slugs, and I think we got a little bit of birdshot, a different brand we'll try out and see what happens. So uh, with that being said, I've already got it loaded up with some Bioki buckshot, double up buck. Let's see what happens. Said, keep on dropping them. And that's okay. We're just going to continue to film, and I will just kind of clip out the <laughs> dropping the shells. Dropping the shells for sure, but uh, uh, we'll just clip out all the loading to kind of break this down a little bit. But trying to load this with gloves, not the best. All right, here we go. Put like a shell drop counter on. <laughs> okay, we got these uh, Fioki slugs that we're going to be shooting now. Focus. Focus. Yeah. Bless my shoulder. Here we go, we got uh, seven and a half shot. Bing. Okay, going to switch over to birdshot and then uh, back to slugs to finish out the 75 shells for today. Bing.
So the question is, what comes first? The uh, shotgun going to break or you're going to get good with shotguns? Shotgun is probably going to break before I get good with shotguns. I think that's probably... <laughs> And that is because this is my biggest gap. All right. Foster slug. That's the word I was looking for. Foster slug. So I'll switch over to these. <laughs> Brand new box. Nah. That's hilarious. That's a lot more stout. <laughs> Bing. All right, so there you have another 75 rounds. We put 25 rounds of slugs. We put 25 rounds of double up buck and then seven and a half shot bird shot through this this time. And uh, it is still running. Uh, any issues that you saw was probably operator induced because I'm not the best with shotguns. The only thing that I have to say is that we are seeing the handguard loosen up right here. So we just need to get in and tighten in the collar right here. Uh, and that should solve that issue. But outside of that, it is still running just fine and uh, pretty impressed so far with the G-Force Arms Pumpernickel. So there you guys have it. Let me know down in the comment section, how much longer do you think that this is going to survive? Let me know in the comments and we will catch you guys later. As always, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Take it easy, y'all. Bye.